Section 3.5.5, Substantive Offenses Arson. Hey there, I'm Dr. Adam McKee, and today we're diving into an intense and fiery topic from my book, Criminal Justice, An Overview of the System. We're talking about arson, a crime that's as dangerous as it is fascinating. Let's ignite our curiosity and explore what makes arson not just a headline-grabbing act but a serious criminal offense. Arson, in simple terms, is when someone sets fire to property on purpose. But it's not just about watching something burn, it's about doing it with a harmful intention. Back in the day, common law defined arson very narrowly, focusing on the burning of someone else's home. And believe it or not, the punishment could be as extreme as death by burning. Today, though, the definition has broadened a lot. Now, it's not just buildings. Cars, boats, and other valuable items can also be targets of arson. But here's a hot question. How do we know when a fire is actually arson? Well, the key lies in the intent. For a fire to be considered arson, it must be set deliberately with the goal of doing harm. This could mean harming a person, destroying property, or even trying to scam an insurance company. Sometimes, arson is used to cover up other crimes, like a burglary or even murder. According to the Model Penal Code, MPC, that's a big deal in the legal world, by the way, someone committing arson must really mean to wreck a building or structure. It's not enough for the place to just get a bit smoky or charred, part of it has to be truly damaged by the fire. Now, why do we take arson so seriously? Because it's not just about property damage. Arson can threaten lives, cause lasting psychological harm to its victims, and create widespread fear. Investigating arson is like solving a puzzle, with forensic experts piecing together clues to find out how, why, and by whom the fire was set. And if someone's found guilty of arson, the consequences are hefty, we're talking long prison sentences and big fines. So, why should you care about arson? Well, it's a crime that shows how destructive human actions can be, not just to bricks and mortar but to communities and lives. It's a reminder of the importance of safety, responsibility, and the impact one individual's actions can have on others. As we wrap up today's fiery discussion, I hope you've gained a deeper understanding of arson and its consequences. This topic isn't just a part of criminal justice, it's a crucial aspect of maintaining safety and justice in our communities. Next time, we'll be moving on to other gripping topic, the crimes of burglary and robbery. What makes someone break into a place? How does the law deal with such intrusions? Stay tuned as we unlock the mysteries of burglary and robbery and continue our journey through the criminal justice system. Thanks for joining me as we explore the complexities and challenges of criminal justice. Remember, knowledge is power, and understanding the laws that protect us is the first step toward a safer, more just society. See you next time, and stay curious.